It is Mark Joseph's Dynasty Football Dads. Yes, I am in my car right now, but if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We're going to be giving away a jersey at 1,000 subscribers, which is here soon. We are here talking already about 2022 stuff. 2022 picks. What do we do with the 2022 picks, and how can we utilize these to our strategy now? So 20, if you, if you, there's a big difference if you've had your 2021 draft yet, or if you've not. If you've had your draft already, then 2022 picks have already had kind of a little increase. It's the next draft class. So everyone likes the, the new class. But the biggest thing is now is trying to find your weaknesses. If you think you are a contender, or if a team that is uh, reloading and rebuilding, and you're at that point where your team is just too young, and you just, you're just you trying to figure, okay, where do I need to get some veterans? Or I need to, to find and fill in some pieces. Or my tight end, my tight end spot is weak. How do I take a tight end two plus a 2022 first and get that elite tight end or get that uh, that fill in that kind of void that spot that you need this is the time and, and and there's other times of the season as well but this is a really good time of the year to start throwing those 2022 picks out there to try to fill in some of these gaps right now it's kind of a dead time in, in dynasty fantasy football we don't have the season starting we don't have any big huge news coming out of training camps and stuff like that uh, no, the, the draft class is over with. Yeah, you might be hearing a little bit about the rookies, but 2022 picks are, I mean, they're 15, 16 months out. So it's like, how do I take those picks and utilize them to my advantage? Because right now, if you're a contending team, these picks are going to be very, very important to try to trade and get that final piece or two to contending. And so that, this is my, my biggest kind of warning, my PSA announcement, you could say, is if you have a 2022 pick, and you feel like you have a void, this is a time to be able to try to at least get some offers out there. Now, you don't have to necessarily do a super low ball offer, but set a, a lower offer um, if you have a 20, 22 seconds. See what that gets you. Start throwing some offers out there to try to fill in some voids. One thing I will always say, though, is keep something in the bank because... It, if you've ever listened to Dave Ramsey philosophy, when it rain, it, the, the rainy day fund, baby step one is <laughs> save that well, that first thousand dollars. Step one in Dynasty, always have a rainy day fund. When it, injuries will happen, it will happen every year, and there will be teams that look like contenders that will fall apart. CM, CMC, Barkley, uh, Michael Thomas. Kenny Galladay, Sutton, like you could have had all those players on a team and gotten hurt. Dak Prescott, you could have had um, the, one of the most amazing teams ever and had five, six injuries. It happens. And in fact, it happened to me in redraft. Um, I did a redraft league and I pretty much my whole entire team died. Uh, and it was like week three and I was like, oh, I don't have anybody. <laughs> so it, ha it happens to the best of us. Uh, that's why fantasy football and redraft is so fun because you get people that are inexperienced. I think it's super fun redraft in a, in a point. Just, just go off my tangent here for a second because you can have these inexperienced people that don't have this investment into years and years and years of dynasty. And you get these people that just, they'll watch the games and they'll be like, oh, hey, like, hey, I might win a championship just based off of purely luck. Now, Dynasty is a lot more skill. It's a lot more determined. And that's why I also like Dynasty because I like luck, but I also like skill. I like being able to be better than other people for long periods of time because they make bad decisions over a year, two, three years. And they they sell uh, way too low and they buy high and they constantly do this thing where I'm trying to buy uh, low and sell high and you and you get this kind of fluctuation in the market so 2022 picks when are they going to be most valuable well right before the 2022 draft but I don't want to wait a year I don't want to wait 11 months for that to try to sell and try to compete in maybe 2022 if you're a 2021 competitor now this is a good time to at least see where some of these where, just start getting feeling throwing some offers out there and if you have some questions please comment below on what offers that you think that you want to send out and I'll be able to be like yes that's a good idea or no that's way too high of an offer way too low of an offer you're not going to get you're not going to get feedback on because we, we don't want to disrespect the other owners but we also want to make sure that we are trying to be advantageous at the right spots and, and back to the Dave Ramsey kind of quote I was saying is yes it may rain it may may be a, a downpour. So we have to have that rainy day fund. So keep a second. Or if you can trade 2023 first and seconds, maybe save those for that rainy day fund. Sell the 2022 first 
uh, and second, and then keep those 2023 first and second for that kind of in season, like, hey, I'm going to make that push. Right. I, I, so many times people will hold on to all their picks. And yes, if you're rebuilding, you want all the picks in the world. But if you're contending, you might only have a short window, or if you have a young team that needs a Keenan Allen, that needs an Adam Thielen for a couple of years. We talked about the boring players. If you need one of those boring players to potentially compete or withstand injury, or you need a tight end that is a better tight end, like let's say you have a Jonu Smith, or you have a Hunter Henry, and or an Evan Ingram, and you need a better tight end, think about packaging that positional player and picks to try to jump up into these tiers and try to jump into these spots and get a Mark Andrews. Uh, Kyle Pitts is not going to be able to be probably reached unless you have a million picks. But <laughs> if you have, if you want to get uh, Darren Waller, try to go after him. He's a little bit older of a prospect, but still going to be good for a couple of years. So my PSA announcement, that's what I would do 2022 first and seconds at this point. It's a, it's a decent time to sell if you've already had your rookie draft. If not, you might want to wait until your rookie draft, unless your rookie draft is in August and stuff. This might be a good time to just see and feel and be like, hey, 2020, 20, 2021 first and seconds are super rich right now. I'm giving you a deal on this 2021 first, and know what? you can try to flip it if you really want to into 2021 capital. Or I'll give you a first and a second for this awesome player uh, to really fill in my roster. If you haven't had your 21, 2021 draft yet, also think about trading those and 2022 picks to try to, again, contend. If you, if you feel like you're going to contend, draft picks are awesome and all, and this is an awesome class, but you want to contend and pe- compete now. And too many people constantly acquire picks, 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 and they're, so, they're super young, and they just can never either A, withstand injury, or B, they always have the potential but never actually make it and we don't want that out of you dynasty dads so again if you're new to the channel we also have patreon you get my rankings you get all sorts of goodies stuff you get me to review your entire roster all that fun stuff and i will do that i will even if it's a league that i'm like a, a, even if it's a crazy league that has 30 starting roster spots which i know some there's some crazy rosters i will do the research and i will do all the stuff and i'll do the detailed report for you guys all you gotta do is be patreon and help support the channel. All right, peace out. See you tomorrow. Now turn up.